getting in the zone. Local para-athletes are taking part in a 10-day training camp. They're putting in hours at the gym to prepare for a world championship in Qatar next month. Plenty of time is also being spent adapting to hot conditions. A little bit of heat acclimatisation in Dunedin and some competition. Uh, Dunedin has um, started their athlete season early just for us, which has been fantastic because or else we wouldn't have any competition. Uh, then up to Darwin to some intense heat and then to Doha which will be hot and dry. Six of the eight Kiwi athletes are from Otago, the majority of them throwers. The World Championship will be the first major event for some, so they're setting modest goals. I really don't know what to expect with the competition and I, yeah, I don't really have any experience in that type of environment before, so I'm looking for a top six, I think, um, but yeah, just a personal best performance, you know, whatever I can throw out on the day will be, yeah, I'll be pretty happy with. There hasn't always been many Kiwi athletes at this level, but things are looking up with 15 internationally ranked competitors. You know, it's awesome to have a bigger team. In the previous World Champs in Leon, we only had two athletes, myself and Rory McSweeney, both javelin throwers, and now we have eight people, which is really awesome to see the program growing. Um, and just some more young, talented athletes coming through the program as well, which is really exciting. The World Championship is a stepping stone to next year's Paralympics. Competitors are guaranteed a spot in the ultimate contest if they do well in Doha. Ruby McAndrew, 39, Dunedin News.